Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands, and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we're going to be checking out a track from an axe named Levi Lee, titled Outlaw, and if we switch over to here, we have the track on Spotify here, um, we're going to listen through this track from start to finish, we're going to hear what we think, let's go. Oh, could have been, okay. Okay, let's just stop. <laughs> let's just stop for a moment to appreciate how quickly we're going to this main theme. Engaging string section to start off with, with the guitars and like a banjo, another plucked instrument in there. And then we have the swoosh in there on the drums and a nice and punchy and side chain in the mix. And the leveling is actually quite good as well. I appreciate um, the balance of the vocals with the drums and the guitars and all the other instruments here. I mean, I know we had stuff fade out for a bit, but coming back in, it's uh, it's consistent. It's actually a banger, like I know I'm interrupting it a lot, but I'm just kind of staggered by it. This is my first impression of uh, Le what Levi Lee is doing, and they've got a few tracks, you know, Outlaw, Amen, and Stagger In. But it's a really great first impression, and it sounds really, um, like it's got a lot of promise. And it's just, it's just, it's so solid. Like, it sounds like something I could hear on the radio. Like, I see a lot of this kind of music from the mid-2000s. Uh, it's got a, a warmth to it. I think part of that is coming through from just the acoustic or analog instruments that are being played here. Some of those bits with the sub bass are hitting really hard. Like, that is a really thumping kick. Okay, so we've got that kind of redneck, outlaw, kind of southern kind of feel to it. That swagger, that's great, you know. You get that sort of don't sort of, don't F with me kind of vibe from it. it it's, it's an interesting sort of aesthetic. I'm wondering what he's doing with his voice in this mix, because he's got a great vocal texture there. It's coming through really nicely in the mix, actually. He's, uh, whether it's the, the double-tracked parts we have in the chorus, or in parts of the bridge, or we just have him in the middle for the center for the verses and interlude, you know. It, uh, it matters, you know, it's just the small things. It's an interesting mixture of um, how do I want to describe the drums? It's got some kind of trap and uh, some some kind of trappish kind of hi hat stuff. Some stuff from like there's like an infusion of country and rock and some hip hop elements here, and I, I like the fact that we've managed to put them all together into something that is um sort of palatable taking the girl from the train it's kind of wild eh you know i guess that's what you do when you're an outlaw right
great. You know, it's it's a well written song. So it makes sense when you consider the genre that it's placed in. But his other influences also matter. And uh, the guy's got that's got a nice voice. But this is effectively the conclusion of my review of Outlaw by Levi Lee. What do I think the song is about? I think we've already established what the song is about. You know, that aesthetic of being like that southern outlaw, you know, going around robbing trains and stuff like that, you know, whiskey and all that kind of good stuff. I don't know the word for it. Like, what's the, like, I want to say he's got his posse or something like that. I don't know if that's quite the right word for it. There's, there's a word for it anyway. So it kind of reminds like cowboys and that kind of stuff, you know. It's something I've kind of always been inherently fascinated in. Like I live in New Zealand and we don't really have a, we actually have a surprisingly, it's, it's an okay country scene, but it's obviously nothing like the States and that's totally fine. But you know, the story came through well, it makes sense when you consider the influences and the style of music. Um, so you, it would be kind of weird if we went too far thematically from that. The vocals, Levi Lee sung some really nice melodies in here, you know, his vocal techniques sounded solid. He sounded comfortable within his range. Little bits of ornamentation here, some interesting dips and rises there that were at the end of those like chorus hook tails there, those melodies. It was it was fun to listen to, to, to Levi sing and to hear his story that he's telling. I haven't got any real complaints about it. I like the fact that we did vary between the double tracked vocals on the side and the single ones. And I also like the filtering that we did in some of the end bridge and the sort of interlude sections. It's great. I, it, we, we clearly understand how we need to be breaking the song up into different sort of tones and textures and like bits of filtering and stuff to keep it interesting and engaging for our listener. We can't really rely on just one sound anymore in a lot of situations, especially when it's your first impression. Like if you're comfortable, then you can probably get away with a bit. With a bit. Well, we're doing it a bit more sort of like um, streamlined, but like you've got to keep it refreshing when you, someone's hearing you for the first time so they know what you're capable of. But yeah, the, the vocals were, were great and they matched the tone of the lyrics and the, the style of music we're making. I mean, the structure of the track with this motif, we had three or four chord progressions here. There was range between like the verses, or there's diversity, should I say, between the, the verses and the choruses and stuff like that. I, I liked the way we roll with some power chords or something like that. We had some interesting arpeggios on those banjo and guitar parts though. And it was nice to have that banjo texture actually. It kind of, I could have imagined this being just as much of like just a traditional rock piece as like a country rock kind of vibe. And that that's fine, you know, sometimes that one instrument can kind of make it a bit more like it. We had some cool drum fills to seek between the sections of the track. Um, we had repeated vocal melodies within the the choruses and a little bit of uh, a little bit of change in variety in those verses but ultimately i think we understood the kind of track that we were wanting to make here especially at three minutes 11 there was no filler in it i don't really think you needed a solo or something like that in a track like this although to be fair to talk about the performance and the arrangement and stuff like that i think there's probably room for like some extra maybe like an extra little lead bit but at the same time, like you could have put like a harmonica thing in or something like that. Although to be fair, that may have been a little bit too sort of cheesy or I'm not sure. Obviously that's not what Levi Lunt because we didn't <laughs> have it in here. I'm not gonna tell him to write his mu how to write his music, but very real talk though. I, I think that th there was, again, there was no no filler within this track. Um, the, the instrumental performances on the drums and the guitars and the bass and the banjo and everything else were exactly what they needed. There was a consistency with the overall loudness of it, although that came down to more of a production thing than anything else. You know, the vocals were the focus in this track and this arrangement, but like when we did have those instrumental parts, they mattered. And especially with the intro, how it came with like two at a time, you know, layering on, slathering on those, those, uh, those ingredients and just to, to make the mix really sparkle. And then you, of course you had the, the verse come in and then you boom, you're ready to go. And it was nice just to have a little pristine outro at the end just to finish it off and when we're done. I mean, the production recording mixing and mastering was splendid. Um, the, the actual quality of the vocal recording was, was really good. Um, what else? What else? The quality of the vocal recording was good. The EQing of the various elements of the track were, were well done. The effects chains on the instruments were interesting. I'd like to sort of see the, the drums, how they were done, whether they were, because there's all sorts of ways you can record drums nowadays. It'd be cool to see how they got that sound good, because often it's difficult to tell, again, how they how they did the drums. The stereo padding of the instruments was great, nice and wide, and everything was notched reasonably well in the frequency spectrum. The, the compression and limiting. How do I feel about that? The compression and limiting was an interesting situation because we had, it, it sounded like we were pushing some of those instruments a little bit. 
There was a little bit of fizz in some of those kicks there, the bass response. It sounded like we were peaking the limiter a little bit. And I'm not upset about that because it, was, it wasn't like it was an obvious thing, but I just, I know we were pushing that, at least from a compressor perspective, maybe on the individual channels, if not the master bus. But, but, and that, that said, it was nice and loud without pumping or anything like that. It's just, it's a delicate balancing act. And I think we got it right but I'm glad that we got it right because if we'd pushed that kick or anything any further than that, could have been a bit rough. And it's testament to Levi Lee's uh, abilities and perception and quality that we didn't have that occur. Kudos to everyone involved in this track, Outlaw, and I'm hoping that they had, um, that they're proud of the track they've made, I suppose, because this is my review of Outlaw by Levi Lee. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do go check out Levi Lee's uh, various social medias and uh, their Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you get the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spartans up.